Mount Marinci Falls to capture the awe-inspiring beauty of this waterfall, which is even higher than Niagara Falls. And take a ride on the cable car for a stunning view from above. But we won't because it's too late. This is important to most. We have found a decent number of public restrooms just walking about Quebec City. They haven't been the easiest to find, but there's been enough. Enough yeah. of them. Not horrible, but not bad. And you don't have to pay like in Europe. And, and you like don't have, have a to new pay. hat. And Chris got a new hat. So let's look at the symbols here. Put your head down. All right. So this is the 22nd for the regiment based in uh, over there. The top one is the, the in the Citadel. The coat of arms, the top is the French, the middle is the English, and the bottom is for Canada, it's supposed it's to be three maple leaves, the line of London, of England, and the French flutiers. And the me made in Romania. <laughs> and Chris made in Romania. So it's a really cool symbol with the beaver there. That's why the French initially started colonizing this area for the uh, beaver pelt trade, the fur trade. So walking back towards the car, which is parked at the train station from the Citadel, we found St. Jean Street, I believe it is. Oh, yeah, right St. Jean Street. And as you can see, it is closed. So it's all a pedestrian walkway, which is pretty nice. Lots of shops and restaurants. Oh yeah, it is St. Jean Street. Finally see a street sign. Great. Find something to Great. eat here. All right, so walking around, we found Optic Coin Breton, which I'm probably saying that terrible, but it looked interesting, and they had a picture of a crepe, and that's what Chris wanted, a crepe. So we're gonna go check out. So there's uh, one, there's all sorts of different crepes, and they filled your own crepes, gratons, which are, we're gonna try one of these. We're gonna try the chicken and veggie gratin. There's all sorts of savory crepes, all about $20, give or take. Um, of course the French onion soup, or maybe I'll get that, we'll get the chicken and the French onion soup. And then they got the, of course the dessert grapes, we have to try one of these. Where are we getting, banana and hazelnut with ice cream? That's what we're gonna get. Alright, so our food pan, we're gonna share, we got the chicken and mushroom gratin. Oh wow, that looks delicious, look at that. Side of fries. And the French onion soup, we already tried it, is absolutely delicious. And then we have the sweet crepe coming on the way. Are they good? Nice, hot, and fresh? Hot. So we got the sweet crepe too. It's with Nutella and ice cream and banana. We got the large size one, and it is giant. What's the size of this thing? So we just finished eating lunch here. We got the gratin. That was unbelievable. If you've never had a gratin, so it was, it was a, it was almost like a, uh, a chicken pot pie, but with a crepe as a bottom, and opposed to gravy, it was nothing but cheese. It was delicious. Uh, and the, we recommend this place. Absolutely, that was so good. So it cost us uh, 60 Canadian after tax and tip, uh, and we sort of shared. So I had a soup, Chris had the gratin, and we shared a sweet crepe. So not too bad. You know, we're in a tourist corridor, so everything's always going to be a little pricey. It was really tasty. Look, at even the Golden Knights up here. That's right. Smart man, smart man. And now we're going to make our way back towards the car. For anybody wondering how we get around these cities pretty well, we just use Google Maps. We download them before we travel. And that way, rather we have signal or not, you can still find your way around.
driving around, we found Battlefield Park, also known as Plains of Abraham. This is where a lot of the battlefields up here in Quebec happen. There's a museum here, the Plains of Abraham Museum. We don't really have time to go visit it, so we're not. We're just going to go walk through the park and look at all the beautiful statues. And there's supposed to be some really great views of the St. Lawrence River from this park. It's a big park and it connects to other parks in both directions. You can see they have some nice plantings here though. And of course, a guy on a horse. One time one of our tour guides told us like, you can tell how the soldier died by the way the horse is positioned. Rather, all the feet are on the ground, one foot, two feet, but I forgot. So there are some nice helpful signs to help you get around to place to place. The Citadel, yeah. Plains of Abraham Museum, we're not going there. Edwards Bandstand, which is right over there. It's like an outdoor concert venue. All sorts of things. There's a ton to see and do. But we're only good for a couple museums today, a day, and then we just start getting bored because we run through them anyways. What's that? We are going to the illumination. Ah, on the on the uh, native reservation. Yeah. It's like an outdoor uh, light show thing, an illumination. We've seen pictures and it looks like a really cool thing. Hopefully, is it open tonight? Last night was raining. So yeah, we were gonna go last night, but it was pouring rain, so we skipped it. Hopefully, it's open tonight. those people are here in uh, Quebec. Just because they pay more for gas does not make them more wealthy. I think they are. I saw some houses. They're like mansions. Look how pretty. We find a nice park to walk around, baby. It's a beautiful park. It is, but the, the attraction we came to see is only seasonal and it's already gone. And actually, I don't think it was here this year. I think yeah. it was more like last, last year. Last summer. Yeah, it's like it a mosaic. Like it's like a topiary display. Right. They so. were looking good in the picture, so we decided to come visit it. And it ain't but, here right now. And we pay for the parking. And you didn't and, have to. <laughs> and we don't have to because weekend today is Sunday, so it's free. Yep. So we're doing great on this park. <laughs> well, there's nothing new. But we always pretty. have a couple, uh, couple missteps, a couple misadventures, but that's the fun part of traveling. You can plan the best you can. Don't worry about it too much and always leave yourself plenty of room to find something that you didn't expect to find. Right. So because we are not going here anymore, we decided to go to see a waterfalls in the national park before we're going to the illumination. Waterfall, Mount Morrissey. It's a national, it's like a small little national park here in Canada, I think. It's just the waterfall and we're walking around to the Whoa, suspension yeah. bridge now. It's crazy, yeah. Oh, it's hard to, it's not a great view from here, but not bad. 
when I put it into Google Maps, Google Maps told me it closes here at six o'clock and it's 5.40, so we'll see. Maybe just the parking lot closes so you can't get in. I'm not sure. But we paid for the parking. We did, we, we bought. Whatever tickets we probably shouldn't. <laughs> well, we made our way to the suspension bridge. Which is like right over on top of the falls. Wow, that is a pretty big falls. A little bit of a dam, a little bit of a waterfall. Wow. This falls is higher than Niagara Falls. And it goes all the way on the other side. Look at that. And people are walking on these stairs to see the falls from the front. We think that from the car we were driving that way. So cool. Look at this falls. On this side you can see the real, the natural waterfall. I think it's huge. It's pretty cool to be up and over on top of it. See, there's all sorts of, there's a walkway over there you can take all the way down. Probably absolutely freezing down there in the mist. A little lookout platforms here and there. Hi, baby. Over here, there's actually like a gondola, but I think it's closed that runs up and down. And I am not sure what those wires are for, but we're not going to do whatever it is. All right, so we parked over by the manor here in this parking lot. Walked across the suspension bridge. That was really cool. The zip line isn't running right now, but that's probably fun and the telecabin was closed and we got here about 5 40. um what else this is probably an interesting walk but it's all in the midst of the, the waterfall and it's cold out here so i don't think we're taking that but we might drive around to the bottom parking lot to take a look looking upwards i think that's what we're gonna do so we found where the zip lines start and go to Wow, that would be a lot of fun. It has to start on the other side. It's just a little bit higher than over here. Wow, you see that little platform down there? Yeah. Look how you get there. It's a great view of the waterfall from here, though. couple of uh, fly fishermen down there giving it their best try if it wasn't so cold out I would really like to take the stairs down but it is cold and I don't feel like freezing 